all right so this is going to be my first ever interview and today i'll be talking to general who is an uber driver in accra ghana stay tuned and let's go general does other things in addition to driving uber and bolts and he will be the best person to tell us what he does so i'm going to switch the cameras and as we drive he will be telling us about himself and what he does all right general so my first question to you is when did you start driving uber or boat yeah so um i started driving boat that was uh, almost exactly a year almost a year now yeah because i started last year august okay yeah that was when i started this ride hailing uh, business um, okay. my reason for starting it was to uh, generate some added income to what i was already doing as a graphic design mm -hmm. graphic and web design okay and, uh, also um i'm into uh, video production and editing as well so very interesting this is another way of getting some some income to supplement um, uh, whatever i'm doing so so would you say this is a side business or you do this on a full-time basis um for now i do this more okay than the others okay yes yeah, so um it's almost full-time mm -hmm. but then um, as and when necessary, I leave this and also attend to the other side of, of the things that I do. Okay. Yes. So since I'm the only one with you in this car, I'll plead that you take off your mask so we can hear you clearly. Okay. Um, if you wouldn't mind. That's no problem. Okay. Now we all know that you need a license to be able to drive, okay? Um, how long have you had your driver's license? Okay, so by custom, you 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 you, you need a license to drive. Anyways. Okay. So I had my license uh, somewhere eight years ago. Okay. Yeah, that was when I, I I had my license. I was working for a company back in the day at uh, Adabraka. What exactly were you guys doing? So I was um, a field inspection officer for a pest control company. Oh wow, interesting. So I have a public health background, so that was what I was doing back in the day. So I traveled a lot. Okay. And so as part of my movement, I needed to acquire a license, so I I drive on my... To facilitate my, your uh, movement. So that okay. was when uh, the company made it possible for me to... Acquire your acquire license. Acquire my license. So interesting. That was when I, I, I had it. I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, somewhere... 2011 uh, there ish. Okay. Yeah, it's been a uh, while now, and I have. How often do you renew your driver's license? Well, upon issue, you will have to. Uh, the, it, the, it, the license is valid for six years. Okay. In, yes, in total. So after six years, it expires completely. Okay. That you need to go in for replacement. I see. But within that six years, every two years, you have to renew the license. And um, the process involves you going to the license office. They, ha they have your eyes checked. Okay. And then you, you have to just uh, pay for the replacement. And then there is a part at the back of the license where they, they just put a small sticker. Okay. Meaning that that it's been renewed. Has been renewed. Okay, so I see. You you renew twice, and then the the, the second the, the third time you replace it. Wow. Because by the third time that would have been six years. Six years. So then you you replace it. Yes. Okay. So personally knowing you, I know you started driving Bolt. Yeah. How long did you drive Bolt? Well, I was on Bolt for almost seven months, and uh, my reason for Starting with Bolt was the fact that um, at the time, Uber only accept 
started comprehensive insurance okay. on cars. So the car that I'm driving now, I checked out the, the premium. Mm -hmm. It was quite expensive. So I decided to to start with bolts. Bolt. Interesting. They were accepting um, third party insurance at the time. So that was the reason why I went for bolts in the first place. So okay. after driving for like seven months, mm -hmm. then um, Uber revised their policies. Okay. So then third party became an option. That was when I, I switched from uh, Uber to uh, Bolt to, to Uber. To Uber and my reason was simple. I mean, it's it's very easy driving on Uber. You know, the the app is very efficient. Okay. And. Uh, few bucks and um, the caliber of people who use this is debatable anyway but the caliber of people that you pick or the caliber of riders you pick on boats are kind of different from the people who also patronize uber and one thing you must know is that uber was the the first uh, on the market yeah okay yes yeah, so um they they have garnered a lot of um, uh, riders over the years I but see Bolt also jumped in and disrupted the market okay yes because they, they brought in offers that were suitable for the riders I see so as we talk now Bolt also has has um, cut out a huge chunk of the market for itself as well as other healing local businesses also so that specifically answers my next question that would okay. be what is the difference between Bolt and Uber? Practically, it's the same platform where riders will request for a ride and a driver will pick them up at their location, at the core. That is the basic functionality. Yes, so the difference is probably the, the charges. Okay. But now it's very competitive. The Bolt and the Uber, all have their perks, you know, various perks that they give riders and uh, uh, drivers as well to, to entice them. Okay. Yes, but then having driven on Bolt and Uber, I would prefer Uber. Interesting. Any day. Very because, interesting. Um, they are straightforward. When okay. They give promotions. Once you qualify, you get it. Okay. But, uh, Bolt has a lot of. You know conditions that you have to meet okay before you actually enjoy those promotions and at times it's it's quite confusing how they go about it so um i'll prefer um the uber. Uh, the uber to the yes, boat now how do you start your day's work a typical day for you how do you start your day's work a typical driving day will start very early because then um, the work has two peaks the morning rush hour and the evening rush hour okay and in between the morning and the evening uh, it's kind of it plateaus you get uh, rights here and there and if you are within the business district of the of Accra people are moving to go buy lunch others are moving yes you get those rights up and but then the, it peaks really from 4 a.m. to 10 a.m. Okay. That is the morning peak, and then it's it's it comes down and picks up somewhere around uh, 3 p.m. deep into the night. I see. Yes. Now, what are the challenges you face as an Uber driver? So, we're going to focus on you driving Uber okay. because that is what you do I right do now. Uber, yeah. Yes. So what are the challenges you face as an Uber driver? What or would you even call yourself an Uber driver? So long as I'm on a platform, okay. it qualifies me to be an Uber <laughs> driver. So, um, um, the challenges, I've been on Uber for, I think, uh, three, four months now. Now, the challenges that you would have, mostly, um, one, we have safety concerns. Okay. Yes, yeah, so... Some some riders' identity is very vague. Uh, they will put a name there that you can't tie any identity to, and so you only see them when they you go to their location and you pick them up. And so we have been agitating that Uber verifies the, the riders. 
okay. for safety and security concerns. Okay. So that they can easily be traceable in the event of um, uh, some uh, uh, problem or anything at all that happens to the driver, the rider can be traced. Just as Uber verifies drivers, they should also do the same for uh, for riders. Now, the second is the fact that some riders will be rude. I mean, expect that. Okay. Yes. Once in a while, you meet riders who are for some reason who are just rude and so you have to um, develop that um, patience that's patience and, and at the end of the day they will just spend a few moments in your car and they drop off so you just ha let them have their time and uh, end their trips and take your money let them go in peace you have your, your, your peace of mind now some also will cancel will cancel uh, rides for no reason some will order you you you're on your way mm -hmm. and they just cancel the, the, the for no apparent for reason no apparent reason some you get to their location and uh, you have five minutes waiting time okay yeah so once you get once you are in proximity to where they are uber will alert them that you are close so once you get there you have five minutes to wait for the rider after the fifth minute Uber starts charging for the wait, waiting time. Waiting, okay. Yes. Some, you get there, you call them, no response. You text them, no response. And then the next moment, they've cancelled the, the, ride. the ride on you. And then um, Uber doesn't pay for the fuel that you use to go pick them up. I see. Yes. You so that's your pay. cost. Yeah, exactly. That is on you. So those are some of the losses that it's uh, in the system. Okay. So you will decide... You know, so what you as a driver should also do is the fact that you have to devise ways and means to cut down those your, costs. Your, yeah, those costs. So most drivers, once they get a request, they call the the rider. Okay. Yeah, before they set off. But I have not conditioned myself that way. Once I, see. I get the ride, yeah, that's why it's map based. So okay. You follow the map pick them up so i hardly call All i right. only call them if i think that the map has led me astray okay i call them to confirm whether i'm actually on the right on road. the right route yes. and so once i start i just alert them that i'm on my way so they know that i've actually started the, the, the journey the journey to come pick them up okay one thing also i've realized is that most riders once they order they don't um they leave their phone okay so they are not able to track your progress as you are coming then they I will see. just out of the blue will call you where are you or they will text you where are you as though they expect us to know every corner of, of the city you know so basically that is it and also one of our biggest challenges is the rising cost of fuel especially here in in in, in ghana fuel escalates almost every now and then and well once in a while the the, the app owners also try and uh, compensate for for those in, uh, increases by adjusting their their fares. okay yes so there are good days there are bad days i mean i see uh, with regards to every uh, business some days are good you smile at the end of the day sometimes you meet some uh, interesting um Riders. riders yes <laughs> others too you meet and then well yeah now riders talk about the road accessibility to picking your riders and dropping off your riders their, to their destinations how well accessible are ghana roads well for the accessibility um for the most part for the most part most of the road networks are connected okay yes at least for the developers of accra they are connected but some are really terrible i mean there are some roads that um, are so terrible beyond description you know so the map also most of the time works will take you there just as uh, at least those places that are very well demarcated the maps will take you to your to your destinations and sometimes to what you do is to ask the rider whether they have an alternate route okay yeah so 
If they, they say you go by the map, you go straight by the map. If they have alternate routes to show you, then they direct you as, as you journey along. Yeah. I so see. yeah, road network, uh, it's not bad, but we better. I see. Now, let's talk about the police. Yes. Whenever they do their stop and search or sweep operations, yes. how does that affect you? As wow. an Uber driver, let's say you're driving someone to a destination mm -hmm. uh, and they suspect your rider and stop you for uh, a search. Yeah. How does that affect you? Oh, well, that, uh, that to me, I mean, it's, it lies within their, their, um, uh, their duties to perform every now and then. So if they have a reason to suspect you and they stop you, especially at night, mm -hmm. Yes, if they have a reason to suspect you, they, they stop you, they would ask all of you to step down. Mostly, they search the riders. Okay. Yes. And for reasons best to be known to themselves, they search them. Once they don't find anything or they are satisfied, they let you go. And um, what that would only do is to delay you for some few minutes and then uh, on you go. But sometimes, to typical fashion, typical police fashion, though, they will stop you, you know, have an interaction and... Ask for I mean, some coins. You know where that conversation will go. <laughs> you know, so, uh, it's, it's, they are more or less our friends on the road. I see. Every Very now, interesting. Every now and then we encounter them and uh, we move on. I see. Yeah. Now, how many trips on estimate do you do in a day? Um, On average, I, if I start early... I'm not able to start the day early every day. Okay. But on those days that I start very early, around like 4 a.m., you have 12 hours to drive on Uber. 12 hours a yes, day? 12 hours a day to drive on Uber. Okay. To be online. So after 12 hours, you are taken offline and you are asked to go rest for six hours. Wow. Interesting. Come back. Yes. So just to reduce driver fatigue. So on a good day, you can have... Um, 20 or more trips okay yeah, depending on how fast the trips come in and the traffic as well the traffic as well and the part of this uh, city that you happen to be you know so um on a good day you can have 20 or more on a bad day 10 sometimes 15 all the the, the right dynamics are so different okay so that i can have four long trips in a day okay and i'll be fine you'll be fine i yes. see but some days you can have 10 very short, 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 short trips and, and not be able to not be able to do much with, with, with that. I so see. the dynamics vary. The, the drive dynamics vary. Okay. So that there's no simple template by which you can measure that with. Now, does the business pay, the Uber business, does it pay? Well, um, it does, but not as we would want it. Okay. Yes, you know, we had complained that the 25% commission uh, is quite on the high. So that Uber charges 25% on every trip. Every ride. Every ride. 25%? 25%. That's a lot. Yes. So what they do to beef the driver up is to give you quests. They call it quests. Okay. So by the quest, they give you a certain number of trips that if you finish these trips within this period, mm. we'll give you this amount. Okay. Yes. So... If you are able to do it instantly, you are paid. I see. And that money goes on to cushion you a bit, and it helps you pay off your commission. At okay. The end of the day. So, uh, yeah, uh, could be better, but uh, it helps you also earn some decent income, anyways. Interesting. Yes. Now, how well do you deal with nuisance on the road? By nuisance, I mean your dispatch riders, your pragya, or whatever you guys call them your tricycles um how well do you deal with nuisance on the road well uh, we are all road users so they have the liberty to also be on the road so but just that some of them are very reckless they barely obey any traffic regulations which is very bad yes they don't stop at red lights especially with the motorbikes they flank you left and right so as a driver you always have to be very alert okay yes so that um before you make any turn you make sure that you are your mirrors are aiding you to 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 get a better view or else you might slam into a bike anytime 
Interesting. Yes. Now, are you guys allowed to receive tips from your customers? Well, it, it's 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 allowed. Yeah, okay. I mean, some customers, depending on how you treat them, they are light and they tip you in cash. Uh, some will just ask you to keep the change. Okay. Yeah. Some will also, especially the card holders, mm -hmm. they will tip you. Tip you on the, the card. Yes. Okay. So at the end of the day, Uber will give you the breakdown and let you know the tips that you you had. Yeah. But um, it's not something you get every day. Every day. Okay. Yeah, but some riders are really generous and uh, good and fun to be with yeah some rides are very interesting and um it affords you an opportunity to meet a lot of people yes I mean, yes on a daily basis interesting so what is the highest someone has paid you as a tip i think the highest in cash in cash yes in cash uh I remember correctly, 10 cities. Okay. Yes, 10 cities. Okay. Yeah, 10 cities. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, will you advise anyone to join the Uber platform as a driver? So, be it that they want to do it on a full time basis, on a part time basis, or however they choose, would you, as an Uber driver, advise anyone to join the Uber platform? First off, driving is stressful. <laughs> and specifically driving Accra, driving yes. in Accra is really stressful. Yes. You have a lot of challenges to deal with. But okay. then if you are able to traverse all these, yes, I would advise you to. Of course, get a license first. And yes. Know how know that assure yourself that you, you can drive well. Yes. So yeah. If anyone has if anyone has the interest mm. to want to join the platform, yes. why not? But then, one thing I've realized is that people hear that, hey, it pays a lot of money in ride hailing. Bam. They jump, <laughs> they jump into, into it. it. And once they are faced with their realities, they, they quit. They, 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 they quit or they begin acting funny. So, okay. it poses a lot of problems for um, for car owners. Okay. They, they will complain that drivers are no longer making sales, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, some of them when they are struck with the reality, they realize that it's not so simple. Yes, so it depends on the owner-driver relationship. Okay. Yes, you have to be accommodating because at the end of the day, it is not every week that you'll be able to get the sum, mm. the money that you are supposed to to make that sale. So, okay. Uh, eventually, they'll make it, but some weeks are good. Others too, you'll have to then uh, uh, cut in. Yeah. You know, so to make up for, for it. So yeah, I think that once you can get a car, a car that doesn't consume a lot of fuel, why not? You can join us. Would you say Uber is a gainful employment? And how sustainable is, uh, you know, how sustainable is the Uber platform? They've been around, especially here in Ghana, for some time now. Um, I'm sure, if I'm not mistaken, for the past five years or more, mm. yes, they, they, they've been around. Okay. And it's, I don't think it's, well, I would say, it's sustainable. Okay. Because especially here in Accra, that transportation is, is a challenge. They have uh, provided a solution that has bought some aspect of the transportation market. Okay. Um, they offer convenience. Yes. The fact that a driver will come and pick you at, your, at your gates. Yes. And take you exactly where you are going. That convenience alone. Yeah. Uh -huh, is is what people have bought into and have uh, patronized the platform for all these years, as well as all the other ride hailing uh, platforms. So yes, yeah, sustainable. Yes, because I'm sure uh, the company is also making some cash. Yeah. Out of it. So as so long as it's up there we will also be also uh, uh we will also be enjoying the the, the, the Thanks. tips that Thanks. comes with it so yeah sustainable yes i think so because um it has provided a solution that people like now have you come across any taxi driver who has complained bitterly about the emergence of the uber platform 
how it has collapsed their business have you met any taxi driver who has complained bitterly about uh, uber once in a while you hear them talk about it that okay. um, it has spoiled their business, business. Yeah, but of course this technology is disruptive yeah anytime there's a, there's some form of technology it kind of uh, sweeps through other areas yes so, some people will be affected no matter what so is it that you switch or you also oh, find oh. innovative means of sustaining your your, 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 your business self. that okay. is happen to be a taxi driver yeah of course i'll say that yeah um it, it has affected them to some extent yes now fun questions on a scale of one to ten how would you rate ghana roads on a scale of one b <laughs> on a scale of one to ten yeah one being the lowest, ten being the highest. I'll give them four. <laughs> four? Yeah, because the, the good roads are very limited. Okay. Yes. When once you are out of the highway and you enter the communities, that's it. I mean, so the good roads are only limited to the highways and the, the big, big places. And so here in Accra, Dansman has good roads, Jowulu, okay. Cantonments, okay. East Legon. And some other prime areas, yes, they, they, their roads are really good and they are well connected. So driving around those areas is a bliss. I see. But once you enter the, the some other communities, especially the developing communities, yes, it's terrible. Yeah, wow. So uh, five, I think I'm, that five, four would be mean, but yeah. I think <laughs> you do five. I will still maintain the four. Four. Yeah, <laughs> we could do more. Okay. So what kind of, what caliber of people patronize the Uber platform? Um, I would say all kinds of people. Right? But because Uber is international, yes, um, you you pick you be picking a lot of expatriates. Okay. Yes, you be picking a lot of expatriates. Um, I hope their tips. Oh, some are generous. Some to just give you what is due you. Mostly they pay by card. So okay. Now, I've realized that a lot of Uber drivers hate, it's either they hate those who use card or they don't like it at all. They want the physical cash in terms of payment for the rights. For some reason, I like the card. Okay. Because it is not like every day that you're going to get a car ride. Most often they are not. You're going to be paid in cash anyway. Okay. Once in a while, you get people who will pay in with, with their cards. Card. Yeah, but what that means is that that is also going to pay off your commission for you. I see. So I don't have a problem if people pay with card. Card, yes. But I think I would understand those drivers because sometimes to um you don't have a lot of cash on you to perhaps refuel. Mm. So you prefer being paid in cash. Yes. Uh, for you to, to refuel. Now and, um, there was yeah. this time that uh, I paid with card. The first time uh, I joined the platform. I paid with card in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So when we got to my destination, he wanted cash. So I paid him with cash, and I went on the app and requested for a refund. And I'm telling you, I got my refund back. I think it was like ten dollars. They paid me my refund. Yeah. So that 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 works actually. But personally, I don't have any problem with card with right cards. So okay. Yeah, Again, I mean, you you have a lot of local riders as well. You mm -hmm. have business executives, you have um, your nurses, everyone doctors who wants to move from point A to point, point B. B okay, patronizing the platform, and um, some of them uh, wouldn't want to be bothered. Once they sit, that's it. They, they don't say nothing to you. Say, once they greet, some most of them, of course, will greet anyway. Some will just sit, and that's it. That's it. Take them to their destination. Now, um, what? What will happen when you drive someone to his or her destination and they don't have the cash to pay you? Well, if I've experienced that before, and um, some will tell you beforehand that they don't have the money. So okay. once they get to their destination, yes. they, they, will, they will sort you out. And in most cases, they do. Okay. 
some hotel they don't have cash, they'll pay through mobile money. Mm. Yes. And um be, before they, 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 they start a trip, they will tell you that they will pay through mobile money and you pull with it. Yes. If you're okay then they, they you, you, you you continue. Okay. But there have been I think once that um a rider refused to pay. Mm. Just once. I've experienced that too once. And uh, I didn't bother because I realized that they didn't have the money anyways. I see. So yeah, one of those challenges. Yeah. But sometimes too, they'll tell you they'll, they, they'll pay later mm. and they'll pay. Okay. Actually, they'll, they'll, they'll pay. They'll... Some, are, some are honest. Like so that. they call you, you meet at a point or they just they'll mobile? Through, mobile. Yeah, they'll send it through mobile money. Mobile money, okay. Yes. Some of them are that honest. So mobile so, money is very efficient. Very efficient, especially here in Ghana. It's it's become one of the very efficient ways of moving money around. I cashless. see. Yeah, so it's it's very efficient. To to Uber. Mm. Yes. We use the same mobile money system to pay our commission. Oh, okay. Yes. At what point do you turn on your AC for your riders? Well, uh, that that depends on the category you you chose. Okay. So with Uber, they have um, Uber X mm. and Select. Okay. So Uber X is a normal ride. Mm. Yeah, you enjoy fresh air. Windows <laughs> are well open. <laughs> well open. Enjoying sunshine all through. I see. But with Uber Select, uh -huh. that is when um, you have to put on the AC. Okay. Because they are paying slightly extra. More okay. The Uber X rider, so on the AC for them and some will state actually they will state their preferences okay they want the cold temperature they don't want any noise yeah yes and so yes some once in a while they will order Uber X mm. and they still want AC so I'll tell you look you are not supposed to put on AC for you but then if I do you have to also take me out on the trip <laughs> so we, we strike a gentleman's a gentleman's <laughs> if you are hesitant, we both enjoy the sunshine. <laughs> so as as that. Interesting. Yeah. Uh -huh. But interestingly, some will still order select and they wouldn't prefer the AC. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can't remember. I picked a, a woman somewhere around Osu. I put on the AC for her. And so mm. it's, it's too, too cold. So wow. I had to turn it down. And yeah, it was to my advantage because I'm going to enjoy a. a a fuel, a select, a select okay. Without AC. AC, I yeah. see. Save yourself some fuel. Yeah, save <laughs> Interesting. So, are there any other driving skills that you need for you to get on the Uber platform? Well, not Uber alone per se. I mean, you must. Or oh, as a driver. As, yeah, you must, as a driver, uh, learn defensive driving skills. Okay. You have to be anticipate. Okay. But the, the, the driver in front of you is likely to do and you prepare in advance to save yourself from a lot of problems mm. and also especially as an uber driver mm. we make a lot of u-turns mm. a lot of a lot of u-turns tight rerouting rerouting and all that you might be heading west and you get a ride that is opposite your your direction quickly you have to make a turn a turn okay yeah, because um once the, the the rider doesn't see you moving, they might cancel. So I you see. have to be quick, and sometimes it's a nuisance on the road, honestly, because um, <laughs> there are some places that you should not be doing U turns. U turns, but, but well, situation we have, demands. We have to squeeze ourselves. Yeah. So for the new riders or for the new drivers, learn how to make U turns mm. fast, very fast, and in tight places because mm, you okay. a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. So. That is that is that is one thing that you should bear in mind. So, which genders ride Uber the most? Oh, that's easy. You know, it's always the same for all situations. It's the ladies, of course. Right? Oh, I see. Yeah, the ladies. Is is it is it just because of the comfort? They like the convenience. The convenience, okay. Yes, the convenience. Especially if you have a nice car, they sit in and they they, they activate their snaps. They are wow. snapping, they are Instagramming, taking selfies all around. I realize you have a lot of leg room 
in your car. Yeah, especially if they like this. The pick, most people that have picked, they like the car because, as opposed to the other smaller cars, mm. they are limited with legroom, okay, and comfortability. But this is this has a lot of room, mm. as you can see, and uh, it's very comfortable. So most of them like it, and they uh, they will be throwing their their legs around trying to feel comfortable. I sure see. I leave them to do whatever they want to do at the back there. It's <laughs> that um, um, you don't put your leg on my seat. Okay. Yes. You, you don't eat without asking my permission. Asking your permission. Okay. Yes. So, um, some riders will be courteous enough to ask you permission. Okay. Before, before they... Whether they can actually eat. Mm. Yeah. Some will just start. Mm. They wouldn't secure. They will just start eating. And for those... Uh, I really sometimes they don't I don't pay attention to them. But I just okay. I'll look at my distance and I realize that you are just uh, five minutes. So I'll just let you go. Mm. Yeah. Now for some riders who would want to smoke in your car. It's a no no. It's a no no. You don't smoke in the Complete car. no no for you. It's a no no. Okay. I don't care why you want to smoke. Interesting. No, smoke, no smoking exactly. in your car. Okay. Yes. And interestingly, I'm, I'm, I'm here to meet a rider who wants who to smoke. Who wants to smoke? Okay. So, no, okay. No. I'll cancel it. I see. Now, have you picked any rider who happens to be a female? I'm talking about a fine woman or a fine lady that you well, would... Once in a while, you, you chanced on some celebrities. I think okay. I'll, I'll pick two of them. Okay. Can yeah. you mention their names? Well, I don't know whether <laughs> this video is going to get to it. Okay, okay. So, let's leave that they, out. They've been, they are very they are both musicians. Oh, I see. Uh, Interesting. A, a, a lady and a gentleman. Okay. And I also picked a CEO mm. of one of the roofing companies in Ghana. I see. Yes, wow. So, we had a very lively conversation that day. I enjoyed that ride. Wow. He gave me a lot of advice. Interesting. Yeah. So, it's like I, I mentioned earlier, it affords you, it gives you a platform to meet a lot of people. A lot of people. Yes, a lot of people. Nice, nice. So, we're going to bring this interview to an end. And like I said, this is the first time I'm doing an interview in Ghana. And this happens to be with a uh, general. Okay, you can call him general. Alright, General, so on the Uber platform, it shows that you are using or you are driving a Nissan Versa. Is it your personal vehicle? Is it your personal car? Or... No, no, no. Um, it's by... I had it through a friend. Okay. Yes, who uh, liked the idea. Mm. So, he made it available uh, on the work and pay um, agreement okay yeah so so how long are you going to be doing the work and pay um we agreed on two years two years okay yes, we agreed on two years so that is the agreement i i am on especially mm. on this on this car um, but there's also an optional of uh, you driving for a car owner for a car owner and making sales at the end of every every week of course we also make sales every week yes Yes, but um, after, eventually, eventually, it becomes, it becomes yours. yours after okay. the agreement expires. So long as the two of you hold your size of the bargain. Bargain. Yeah. Now, so how do you deal with maintenance? So when the work and pay, you maintain it yourself. Yourself, okay. Yeah, so you fix it. You fix everything yourself, and um, and sometimes the driver, the owner might agree that. Um, after your tenor, mm. you get you a new engine. Okay. Yes, because um, by virtue of the, the fact that the work, put pressure on yes, the you are always on the road. And, yes. Uh, uh, there is a lot of strain and stress. Yes. On the so most often than not, after the tenor, the engine is weak. So especially if the car is, is an old car. Mm. Yeah. So you are using a 2016 Nissan Versa. Would you think that you're gonna need an engine? After two years. Well, I've done a year. Okay. And so far, so I don't have any you're almost close to paying it off. Mechanical problem with the engines. I'm hoping. Yes. That, um, if things remain as they are, mm. I think that I will still have a, a 
fairly strong engine. Engine. Okay. So hopefully you'll be able to run another two years, make your own money, and either buy a new car or invest it into any other business of your choice. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. All right. Well, it's been nice talking to you. Um, I wish you all the best in your Uber business and other businesses, your video editing business, um, anything else that you're doing as a side job that brings you income. I wish you all the best. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to talk to you. And we will surely meet again. Yeah, sure. Hopefully. Hope so. I think that would do it for today. And just look out for my next video. It is a deal for now.